All right, everybody, welcome back. So if you just finished watching part one of this video, here comes part two. For those of you that have skipped right to this second video, we have made a posterior long arm splint, or some doctors would call it a posterior elbow splint. Now, this is important. This is part two. Some doctors will come in and they'll change their mind. They'll say, okay, leave the posterior long arm splint on, but let's add a sugar tongue onto it. This is the most important thing you're gonna take out of video number two. Do not, and I'm being serious you guys, do not put another splint on top of the ACE wraps. You're going to invite a higher risk of compartment syndrome. If you put another splint on top of these ACE wraps, and then you wrap a whole second set of ACE wraps, it's gonna squeeze down very, very much so and very uncomfortable to the patient. So do me a favor, if the doctor wants you to add to the posterior long arm, this is how you do it. Leave it on, you can have the patient hold, you can have, the, if the parents are there and it's a kid, you can have them hold, leave everything on except the ACE wraps. Watch, here we go. We're gonna remove the ACE wraps. And I'm gonna do it kind of in a neat fashion because we're gonna reuse them in a second. Okay, so if you don't mind coming around, you can see here is our posterior long arm splint that we made. Now, the doctor says, let's add the sugar tong. So we're gonna do that, but before we add the sugar tong, we take the ACE wraps off. Well, Woody, how do we secure the long arm posterior if there's no ACE wraps holding it? How, there's no way this is gonna stay on while we're doing the sugar tong at the same time. And here's the trick. The trick is this. A cotton roll. You take the cotton roll and you do one, maybe two, one and a half passes. You come over here, one to one and a half passes. Go ahead, like that. Come over here, one to one and a half passes. What you're doing is you're using your stockinette to hold the ends and you're using your cotton roll to create your anchors. This is what I just put on, right here, right here, and right here. These three strips of cotton roll, of, of cotton padding, are now holding the posterior long arm in place. He doesn't have to use his hand. Nobody's helping me. The material's doing all the work. Now, while it's holding that in place, let's put the sugar tongue on. So, as you can see, we're all set here. We've got our three little strips of cotton holding the posterior long arm. I've measured out enough to do a sugar tong, which we're gonna do next. I'll go ahead, and as you saw in part one of the video, I trim back the edges, so you don't have to worry about the fiberglass making contact with the skin. I did that on both sides, and I went ahead and advanced the stocking net forward a little bit, so the actual fiberglass stops right about there. I'll go ahead and wet one side of it with just a small bead of water small bead of water, wetting one side. And even that might be a little bit too much water, but I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna massage the water into the one side of the splint. I'm gonna get rid of any excess that might drip out. and I'm gonna place the dry side up against the arm. Now, you can A, you can A, use your stocking net, you can undo the stocking net and fold the stocking net over, have it hold, or another good trick, have them close those fingers. There you go. Now, the patient is helping you while you wrap your cotton, or excuse me, excuse me, your, uh, your, your ACE wrap. 
So you come over as they're holding, go in between the thumb, nice and comfortable. You can fold that over if you think it's gonna rub on their thumb. And then, like I said before, the ace wraps are only there to hold the splint. You do not put the ace wraps on tight. And as you're going, um, as you're going, you're gonna notice you're starting to create that sugar tong effect. So the bottom, I'll show you because we did this in part one, so it's already hard. The bottom, sorry, I didn't mean to make you jump, but the bottom is already set. So now we're advancing to the sugar tong and the posterior arm together to create a nice three point protection with the interior midline still soft and able to allow for swelling. So we're almost done wrapping up the finishing touches of the posterior long arm with the sugar tongue. I'll show you something real quick as we wrap it up. This is the last pass with the ace wraps. I'm sure by now the patient's arm is pretty heavy. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So now what we have, we have the posterior, I won't tap on it because I already made him jump once, but we have the posterior long arm going underneath and behind. We have the sugar tongue in front and in the back, or lateral aspect, medial aspect, if you want to be technical. Of course, all the edges are soft, etc., etc. With only one set of ace wraps. So that way there's no concern about the splint becoming too, too tight. So again, what we just did was we did a two part series. First part was the posterior long arm splint. Second part was adding the sugar tong to that splint. I hope you guys take a lot from this. I, I really enjoyed doing it for you. And again, uh, thanks to the nurse at the class this weekend that pointed it out that we didn't have it on the channel. I'm very happy to produce the video for you. Have a great day.